staying in the same line of the simple game is the proofing aspect of it. And so with um, young dogs, before we're working on too complex of behaviors, we do a lot of proofing of simple things. And we do a lot of proofing just in the context of this back and forth food chase game. Um, and that would involve, you guys know what the three D's of dog training are, distance, duration, distraction, but that would involve starting to pollute the environment with people, other dogs, maybe toys on the ground, or things that could possibly pull them off of this game that we're playing. And we go pretty deep with this proofing while just playing this simple reward-based game for them because I feel like the more proofing we do when it's simple, when it's easy for the dog not to fail, the better they are at staying on task or within obedience or not failing when the stakes get higher or when the tasks get more complicated, when behavior compounds. And so we spend a lot of time proofing in the early stages. And then by the time I get to heel position, like this really nice focused heel that I've been working really hard on, and I'm going to new places and the soccer field where you know a bunch of kids are running around kicking their soccer ball, <clears throat> have very little failure from that because dogs are so emotionally invested in it. They've learned to turn all their attentions and energies into the work, into me, because I've got great things in store for them. So they don't fall for that stuff as easily. 